swear to turn Atlantic. Night calling in a phantom. Told them hold it, don't you What's up, guys? Welcome back to another edition of Rose's World. As always, I'm your guy, Rose. Today, I'm bringing you yet another cologne review. Today is from a house that I've never actually tried before, and that house is none other than Shea and Blue. Now, I probably bought this around about uh, maybe like two weeks ago, right? This one that I purchased is uh, Salt Caramel. Now, uh, this is a niche perfumer. They have a couple of uh, different fragrances on their website as well. So you can definitely go and check that out. Again, that's Shea and Blue. Here's the box, here's the presentation. We don't really give a fuck about that, right? So, we're just gonna throw it to the side. Now, again, this is Salt Caramel. I decided that I was gonna pick up a, a 1ml because I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I did like do some reviews, well not reviews, I did some research on it like a, like a couple days before I actually purchased it. And I was getting a mixed bag of reviews so I decided I, I'm gonna try it for myself. With that being said, we gotta dive right into it, right? With this one here, um, I've gotten a chance to actually smell it before. It has a, a decent atomizer. Now, I'll tell you straight up with this one. Like I've, I've sprayed it on my skin and it does last about it's fucking lingering Oof. <laughs> so uh it does last about and i would say four or five hours right initially when i spray it i don't like it okay and i'll tell you why the reason why i don't like it is because the initial spray is very strong it smells a lot like popcorn and like butter and you get a strong like hint of caramel in the opening now to me, like, I'm just like, it's just too overpowering for me. I'm not with it. I just, no. All right. But, however, I'm going to give you an unbiased review on this. Even though I don't like the opening, the dry down is amazing. I still do like the dry down and it really becomes alluring and sensual and lovely on the dry down. I do think that that is the part where it really performs and really starts to show out. So on the dry down, like it, like I said, it really becomes a really nice scent. Um, and it's not as strong, it's not as powerful after about like 10 or 15 minutes. So if you can get through the first 10 or 15 minutes, if you don't like the initial opening, you might like the dry down. The price point for this one, the one ML that I got, I almost dropped it, the one ML that I got, this is about $50. And I think that the, uh, I think it's a 3.3, don't quote me on that. Uh, three, it's, I believe it's like 80 bucks, right? It's relatively inexpensive as compared to other niche uh, perfumes that's out there. So, um, it's, it's you know, worth a try. Give it, give it a shot. Let me know what you think about it. I will link the website in the description. Like, when I think about this scent, I think that it smells a lot like, it just comes off like straight like popcorn or just not, maybe not even so much popcorn, just like butter. I, I, I get a shitload of like, I can't believe it's not butter type of smell. And it's like, you can tell that it's perfume, you know, of course, but like, it just, it's so reminiscent of that, that it's just not something that I think that I would want to wear on my skin. This is my review of Shea and Blue Salt Caramel. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Let me know what you guys are wearing, because I love to get new shit okay um let me know what you guys are going to be wearing this season and what do you have your eyes on i definitely want to know all right as always i'm your guy rose and i'll catch you guys next time i'm out of here